What's up guys? Sloppy Wet Blow here. Doing some Heaven 4.0 benchmarking at 1920 by 1080 with absolutely maxed out settings. Just to see what the GTX Titan X can do at 1920 by 1080 on the Heaven benchmark. So we just did the um, 2560 by 1440 video. Um, it's uploading as I speak, and I figured we'll do this setting. And then I think last but not least, we'll do 4K. So, nothing for nothing, I doubt. If you saw my other video, I didn't think I did test a GTX 980. Actually, I did test it at 2560 by 1600, which was my Dell monitor's native settings. So, just a little bit more intense. Obviously, not much from 1440 to 1600, and the Titan X absolutely crushed it. So this card with the synthetic benchmarkings, so to speak, absolutely annihilated it. What I will do is actually copy and paste, if you check out the other video too, to show you that the difference in scores, absolutely quite, quite incredible to me. So as you see, uh, card is overclocked, running fantastic. As you see, we're at uh, 14, 14, Megahertz at 3911 on the memory, and we are at 63 Celsius. The card does not go above like 65 Celsius. Obviously, I do have manual fan control on. Um, guys, don't ever use auto. The card will crank up and it will stress a lot more. So, obviously, do inside either um, with Precision X, which I don't use anymore. It's a fantastic benchmarking tool. You know, good for good for your overclocking needs, but I use uh, MSI Afterburner with Riva Tuna for all my needs. Just find it to be better. Such a cool looking uh, benchmark, and I enjoy running them because you know what? As time goes on and as the cards come and go, which I do do a lot of to keep um, keep it fresh and keep you guys informed on what kind of. Obviously, performance you're going to get out of each card. Uh, it's fun to look back because I was like, I don't remember doing the GTX 980s benchmarking at, at these resolutions. So it's kind of nice to go back and see the actual difference in performance as uh, as technology progresses. I have to laugh. Look at the left side here, guys. <laughs> the, I didn't shrink the uh, the imprint of the computer information. It's huge, but it's okay very clear for you guys to see. As you know, you can look in the bottom right, top right, or my huge left side to see what what is going on in particular parts of the benchmark. So, um, I've had the card for a little over 24 hours. I've been using the hell out of it to get some videos up for you guys to see what it could do. And uh, it's been an enjoyable, enjoyable card. It's a fantastic card. It's an absolute animal. And the 12 gigs of onboard memory um, is a real blessing that I didn't even know how much it really was until I started trying to play Dying Light at 4K with max settings on Ultra. And you're hitting almost, and I mean almost, 7 gigs of video memory. That's unbelievable. So, you know, even if the GTX 980 Ti does get released sooner or later, the specs that it would come out with 8 gigabytes of onboard memory, which is obviously awesome, but, you know, to me, God, what does it say for the future of gaming when we're already hitting 7 on Dying Light? So, I really think, I don't, not like, I will, I still probably pick up the cards, just to benchmark them and then get rid of them. But this game for the next year, I think I'm going to stick with these cards. They're, they're impressive. And that's all it means. That means a lot to me. Excellent part of the benchmark. I like that. Oh, there you go, guys. There is the 1920 by 1080 benchmark with the Titan X with everything maxed out. Quality is ultra extreme. You can't get any higher. That's your score. All right, guys. I'm going to post it.